Hi, this is Freya with another singing tip video and today I want to talk about the difference between classical singing and popular music singing. So stay tuned. A lot of times I'm asked by my students what the difference is. Is there a difference and why is it that when you have been singing classically you seem to have problems to sing popular music. And I see this a lot, not only in female singers, while of course it is more prevalent in female singers than in male singers, but I see this all across the board. Now let me talk about the difference if you're not quite aware of it. When you sing classical music, the objective is actually to project over an orchestra or over an instrument into the room wherever the concert is taking place and normally you would not be amplified, which means you do not have a microphone or any technical equipment that's gonna help your voice. There's not gonna be any reverb added or something. You're pretty much just working with the acoustics of the space wherever you're performing. And that really means that you need to have a whole different technique than when you're singing with a mic projecting and to actually find those frequencies in your voice that carry a lot is a whole different way of singing than just looking for the more speech type kind of voice color that you do a lot of times in popular music. Like when you sing a ballad, usually the ballads, the pop ballads start out low, pretty low, whether it's female or male voice, and then it just kind of goes up in energy and it climaxes into the chorus and then into the bridge probably. In classical music, it's different. You wanna be heard from the front to the end. You wanna be heard the whole time and you need to project. That's why you need to look for different frequencies in the voice. Now, as a soprano, of course, you need to sing into your mask. You've probably heard that term before, just because you want as many frequencies as possible to produce those overtones that are actually going to carry and cut through and be heard over the orchestra without any microphones. So that is a whole different way of singing. So you may want to think about that. And a lot of times I see this so much. A lot of vocal coaches nowadays or voice teachers, they either are trained classically and normally most of them, probably 90% of voice teachers who are trained classically, they teach classical. Now, especially when you take lessons from a female voice teacher who has only sung opera or classical music, a lot of times she will only teach you classical style singing, which means for women, it's only pretty much head voice. If you take lessons from a male classically trained singer, mm, there is the added bonus that that singer does know how to sing in chest voice. However, it's still a different way of singing because even as a tenor or as a baritone or as a bass, there's different. It's the objective is to be able to project, to have a big sound, to have those frequencies that really carry, that cut through. And you don't really ever take your voice way back because it wouldn't be heard anymore over the orchestra. Whenever you sing with a microphone, however, when you sing popular music, you want to have those voice colors that where you really take it back and you're not loud at all. You have those very soft, almost whispering kind of colors. And that's a whole different way of singing. So whenever you think, well, I'm not singing loud now. Am I even being heard? then if you do sing popular music, then don't be scared. Don't be afraid of really taking it back. You are going to have a mic and whenever you're singing those really low pitches, it's totally fine. And it even sounds so beautiful sometimes when you take it way back, you almost whisper into the microphone. It's very intimate. You have this intimacy that you're wanting to bring across in your voice color. When you sing classical, you also want to have intimacy sometimes, but it's done in a whole different way. So even a tenor, even if you are a tenor, you don't go way soft. You go, la, 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 la. That's not going to be heard anymore. La, 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 la. It's more projected. So that's all I wanted to say is that whenever you are looking for a voice teacher or vocal coach, just make sure he or she is trained or knows how to train in the style that you want to sing in. 
because a lot of times it causes problems when you're only trained in one style and then you actually want to sing another style and you don't know how just because for example you're only taught to sing in head voice if it's for sopranos but the good thing is there are actually voice teachers out there who know how to sing in different genres and who know how to teach that and if I were you, if unless you only want to sing pop and never, ever, ever, ever sing classical, um, you may want to just stick with someone who teaches popular music. Um, same with musical theater. Musical theater is kind of a... Sometimes you want to do both because some musical theater pieces or, you know, shows are more on the classical side. I mean, like West Side Story for the women, you sing more... Some of it is more sung on the classical side or like Phantom of the Opera, it's more on the classical side. But then there are some musical theater shows um, that are totally popular music. I mean, if you think of like Wicked or something like that, it's all sung, it's belted, it's never really in head voice. So you may wanna just be really careful about who teaches you. I hope this helps you and maybe that clarifies a few things that you were confused about because a lot of my students come to me and they're confused just because their teacher, their former teacher used to tell them one thing and I was like, okay, that's all correct what they told you. However, that applies to this or that genre. And if you're singing in this different genre, mm, there's a few different set of rules. Uh, there's a different set of rules that applies to that. So keep that in mind and Hope to see you soon again. Tune back in next week. Also check out my podcast that I do have every week, every Wednesday. My podcast is published on iTunes, on Overcast, on iHeartRadio, but also here on YouTube. It's only like a picture with sound, so it's not really a video video. But um, other than that, you can join my Facebook group if you want to connect. It's a great community and I love to connect with you. We Every Thursday we share videos and audios of everybody in the group so you have a chance to share what you're doing these days and also get feedback. You can also ask any questions. You can ask me about some problems that you may be having vocally or about some issues that you have that you don't know about or like <laughs> I was just talking about something that your vocal coach told you when you're confused about it like how can that be and I said something different so don't hesitate um, yeah join the Facebook group it's called master your voice I will also link it up below and then I hope to see you soon have a great day and don't forget always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart bye <laughs>